Today I will show you how you can get the best FPS on Valorant for low-end PC on Windows 11. But before, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, and like. First press on the start menu. Go to settings. Then go to gaming. Press on game mode. On the game mode make sure you have this on. Then press here on graphics. Press on change default graphics settings. Make sure you have this on, then go back to graphics. Press here on browse. Search where you have your Riot Games folder, double click on it. Go to Valorant. Live. Shooter game. Binaries. Win64. And this is the right file you need to find. First right click on it, press on properties. Here you have to go to compatibility. Check disable full screen optimization. Then go here to change high DPI settings. Check this box. Then press OK. Press apply. OK. Then select it. Press here on add. You will find it here. Press on options. Check high performance. Press on save. And close the page. Do you need to go to the start menu? Then go to settings. Go to Windows Update. Press on check for updates, and follow the steps to be up to date. Then go to system. Go to display. On the night light, select off. Then go to advanced display. Choose a refresh rate. Select the highest hertz you have on your monitor. Then go back to system. Go to the notifications. On the notifications, select off. Go back to system. Go to focus assist. Select here off. And down here on during these times, select off. Then go back to system. Go to power. Here on the power mode, you have to select best performance. Go back to system. Go to storage. On the storage sense, select off. Then go to cleanup recommendations. Select this too if you want to delete them. Press on cleanup. And press on continue. Then go back to system. Go to multitasking. On the span windows, select off. And on the title bar window shake, select off. Go back to system. Go to remote desktop. On the remote desktop, select this to off. Go back to system. Go to clipboard. On the clipboard history, select this to off. Then go here to the personalization. Go to background. Here select picture or solid color. Do not select slideshow. Then go to apps. Go to apps and features. Here you have uninstall all the apps you no longer need by pressing on this three dots and uninstall. Then go to gaming. Go to Xbox Game Bar. On the Xbox Game Bar you have to select this to off. Go back to gaming. Go to captures. Record what happened. Select off. Capture audio. Select off. And capture mouse. Select off. Go back to gaming. Go to game mode. On the game mode you have to select this to on. Then go to privacy and security. Go to general. Here you have to select all this to off. Then go back. Go to speech. Select this to off. Go back. Go to inking and typing personalization. Select this to off. Go back. Go to diagnostic and feedback. Select this to on. Then go back. Go to activity history. Uncheck this box. Go back. Go to searching windows. Here select this to off, select classic, and we are done with the settings. Now go down here to the search bar, type task, press on task manager. Here you have to go to startup, now here you have to disable all the application you don't want to run in the background when your computer starts. Then close the page, go again to the search bar, type optimize, press on defragment and optimize drives. Select your C drive, and press on Optimize. Then go to the other drives you have. 
first press on Analyze, and then Optimize. Go again to the search bar, type Run. Press on Run. Type here Temp. Press OK. Press Continue. Select all these files and delete them. Then go here again, type percent temp percent. Press OK. Select everything from here and delete them. Go again here, type refetch. Press OK. Press continue. The same select everything from here and delete them. Go again to the search bar, type performance. Press on adjust the appearance and performance of windows. First check adjust for best performance to uncheck all this. Then check custom. And check smooth edges of screen fonts. And show thumbnails instead of icons. Then press apply. And OK. Now you have to be up to date with your video card driver. So if you have Nvidia go to this website. And select here your specs from the video card. Then press on search. Press on download. And download again. Now if you have the AMD video card, go to this website, select here your video card you are using. Then just press on submit and follow the steps to be up to date, open the game. When you are here in the lobby, go to this icon up here. Go to settings. To video. Then to general. On the display mode, select full screen. Resolution, select 16 by 9. Aspect Ratio Method, select Letterbox, press Apply. Limit FPS on Battery, select Off. Limit FPS in Menus, select Off. Limit FPS in Background, select Off. Limit FPS Always, select Off. And if you have a NVIDIA Video Card, select here on Plus Boost for Low and PC. Then go up here to Graphics Quality. On the Multithreaded Rendering, select On. Material Quality, select Low. Texture Quality, select Low. Detail Quality, select Low. All Quality, select Low. Vignette, select Off. Vertical Sync, select Off. Anti-Aliasing, select None. Anisotropic Filtering, select One. Improve Clarity, select Off. Experimental Sharpening, select Off. Bloom, select Off. Distortion, select off. And cast shadows, select off. Then go up here to stats. On the client FPS, select text only, so you can see the FPS in real time, then press on close settings. And that's all you had to do. I hope you found this useful. Don't forget to subscribe. See you in the next episode. Bye.